Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me in this video. Welcome back, and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Quinn, and it's actually been a very long time since I've posted a video on my channel. I actually have a lot of personal issues that I've been going through recently, but I'm gonna cover that in a different video. But in this video, I wanna do something fun and something that I've been excited to do in a while, which is a hair tool video. And in this video, I'm actually gonna be reviewing the InStyler 7X Smart Dryer. I've been on the market for a hair dryer for a while because I, my old one was just very old and I needed to get a new dryer. When I found out about the 7X Smart Dryer, I just got really excited because it has something that no other hair dryer that I know of has, which is the auto pause technology. So the 7X Smart Dryer actually has a function where you can put it down on the counter and it turns off automatically. On top of the auto pause technology, it is the 7X Smart Dryer, so it is seven times quieter, seven times extra shine, seven times extra fast. It's extra lightweight, it's extra powerful, extra smooth, and extra advanced. So there are actually seven times more ions in this hair dryer than in a regular hair dryer. Ions are really important in a hair dryer because it seals in the cuticles, it locks in the moisture, and so it doesn't dry it out. So it helps your hair from burning. This is just a little bit safer, a little bit less damaging than a hair dryer without the ionic technology. So upon opening this, I did notice that this hair dryer is just super slick. It's beautiful. I love the white. I love just how um, easy it is to hold in your hand. It's very lightweight. This also has the magnetic attachment. So it just clicks on automatically like that. So you don't have to worry about it falling off or anything. It stays on really well too, but it also comes off really easily. So I really, really like that. I think that is amazing. And then back here, you can see the fan. It's just such a sleek design. On the back here, you have the control functions. So we have the power button, the heat control, and you're able to see the different heat settings with the lights here. So there's four different heat settings. And then this is the fan speed. So it's an infinite dial, so you can just keep going up and then it'll reach its max and then just scroll down to get to the minimum or wherever else in between you like. In the front here, there is a cool shot option, which I like as well. So this is actually the finished result. So I'm actually going to go backwards a little bit and show you how I got this look and how I like the Insider 7X Smart Dryer. So if you're interested in seeing this baby work, just continue watching. All right, so to dry my hair, I'm actually going to use the Insider 7X hair dryer, and then I'm also going to be using this three and a half inch round brush. Now this is massive. It's like the biggest round brush I was able to find. This brand is by Olivia Garden. So um, first thing I wanna test out is the functions. So let's go ahead and turn it on, see how loud it is. Okay, so it is pretty loud, just like a regular hair dryer, but I love the blue light on this. I think that it just is, I don't know, it's just, it's fun to use. It just feels like so futuristic. I'm gonna turn it back on and then I'll turn it off and talk with you guys about it. So on. Okay, so that was a little bit weird. I kind of uh, held on to it weird and so it kind of just turned off on its own. I think that's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but let's test this out. So when I hold this with both hands, that is when it turns off, which of course you're not gonna be <laughs> blue drying your hair like this. I'm just holding this like that for demonstration purposes. So if that's the case, I don't think it's gonna be an issue with having it turn off and on. We're just gonna test it out, see if it turns off automatically. And set it down. Stop. I love that. Normally when I blow dry my hair, especially with a round brush, I'll set the hair dryer down with it on because I don't wanna to have to keep flipping it on and off. I will grab the round brush and then just brush through my hair and just, you know, make sure that the section is brushed out and like where I want it. And then I will pick up the hair dryer. When the hair dryer is on the counter, 
half the time it blows something off of my countertop. Um, so being able to have it turn off on its own and auto pause is like kind of amazing. So let's see if it like turns on reliably. on its own. I don't have to worry about stuff flying around. Okay, I love that. All right, let's continue. I don't think I will ever get sick of that. It's like the coolest party trick. I just got done doing my hair with the InStyler 7X. You guys, this is the most fun I've had blow drying my hair in so long. I think it's because the blow drying process is just so loud. So having something that just automatically turns off, you don't have to think about it, you are not going to have to worry about it blowing anything off the counter or it pushing itself towards something. It's really nice to work with. The hair dryer itself is actually amazing. I love that it has the ionic technology. It has a lot of power, so you're not like missing out on drawing speed, drying power, anything like that. And it's just, I don't know, it's just a really fun tool to use. It's also very, very light, surprisingly, with all of the technology that's in it. It's like the lightest hair dryer I've used. I know that's definitely lighter than my previous hair dryer, which is the Alkeem. I forget what, what model it was, but it's the one I've had forever. This is so much lighter than that. And so that alone is really nice just to have in a hair dryer because, you know, when you're doing your hair, you're holding the brush, you're holding this, it can be very tiresome and your arm <laughs> can get very exhausted. So having something that is just a couple pounds lighter or a pound lighter even, it just makes such a huge difference. I can also tell it's a very good quality hair dryer because of how shiny my hair turned out. Like I absolutely love the shine that I got from this hair dryer. I didn't even know that Instarly had hair dryers. So when I found out about this, I jumped on it. I wanted to try this out, especially with the Autopause technology. And for under $200, I think it's a really good price as well. I think it's really hard to find a good hair dryer that's less than $100 because you're drying your hair, it's heat. So you want to make sure that you're using a product that is good on your hair that's not going to damage it. And the ion technology really makes sure that it seals in the cuticles of the hair and it just uh, doesn't damage it as badly as a regular hair dryer without all of that technology. So uh, because of that, I do notice like just how shiny my hair is. I Notice how quickly it dries my hair. So overall, it's just it's a really, really great hair dryer and I've had so much fun testing it. I would highly recommend this if you're in the market for a hair dryer. I think that it is wonderful, it's light. I love the magnetic attachments. They also have a diffuser that you can buy also, but it doesn't come included in the hair dryer. 
So that's something that you have to purchase separately. The nozzle is something that I definitely have to have, especially when I blow up my hair, and so it's nice that it comes with it. I also love the blue light. I don't know why, I just am such a sucker for like colored lights, and it's just something that's like really fun. I love seeing the fan behind it. I don't know, I just think the design is just beautiful. My overall opinion on the Instyler 7X hair dryer is it's amazing. I have never used a hair dryer like it before, and I feel like the autopause technology is something that just makes it so amazing alone, but the fact that it has that with everything else that it has to offer, you know, is amazing. So I give this a 10 out of 10 for hair dryers, especially if you like doing a manual like blowout yourself. This brush I think is a little bit too big for the length of my hair because I did get it cut recently, but when my hair does grow out, this is going to be perfect. I just use bigger brushes because I like a straighter look rather than like a curly look, but it just depends on what you like for your hair. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Have you tried the Insiler 7X hair dryer yet? And if you have, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on the subscribe button right there and hit that bell notification to use more videos like this. I will see you in the next video. Bye!